Here I'm going to show you how to instantly fill text and formulas, numbers, whatever you want for tens of thousands of rows, hundreds of thousands of rows instantly. And I'll show you this trick for older versions of Excel as well as newer versions of Excel. So let's say that you are building a list of data. I use this a lot for random data, the choose function. It is great. First argument, let us skip that for now. But the next series of arguments is what you want to output. So I want to output, how about the days of the week? So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. And each time this formula runs, I want to get a different value for this, for a very large list. So I go up here to the first argument for the index number, which says which value to return. And I put the rand between function, a great function, for bottom one and for top the number of values that you have here. So I have five. Close that up, hit enter. And now when I hit F9 and refresh it, I'm going to get a different value. And I want that 10,000 rows. Now that's a simple formula, but it can be as complex as you want it to be. And so now, how do we get 10,000 rows? Well, for new versions of Excel, just go equal and then sequence, 10, 1, 2, 3, close it up. Whatever number you want here, that's what you put. Enter over here, double click the bottom right corner. And now we have 10,000 values. Hit control down, and there you go. Row 10,000 all the way down there. Now, what if you want this on older versions of Excel? It is almost as easy. Go over here, anywhere, type 1, then on the Home tab, go all the way to the right, this little guy over here, Fill, and click Series. Here we select Columns for Series In. That means our list will go up and down inside of a column. And then for Step Value, set that at whatever increment you want for each cell. 1 is fine for me. And Stop Value. How many values do you want? Well, if we have a step value of 1 in order to get 10,000 rows, I just type 10,000. Hit OK. And now I have a list of 10,000 over here. So whatever formula I have, I can just put right next to here and double click the bottom right of the cell. And there we go, 10,000 values. Now, this is a very simple example with the choose function. You can make things, especially with dates, amazingly complex. And then at the end, you say, okay, I want to make 120,000 randomly generated dates that are distributed evenly, but within certain time periods, which is something that I did recently. And after I made an amazing, crazy formula, the very last step was to make sure that I could increment it nicely and easily. And once you have the helper column here, that's what this is called. To delete it, just click here, control shift down, and delete, and it's gone. And for the new version of Excel, you don't even have to do that. Just go to the first cell, hit delete, and the whole guy is gone. And that's it.